does not know Michael, who never had the chance to meet him, who, who is he? My son? Yeah. My son <clears throat> is one of the nicest. I'm not saying it because I'm his mother. People you want to meet, the most loving and giving person that you would ever meet. But people misunderstood him. He um, did a lot. He gave a lot. Even if you walk down Las Vegas Boulevard in Vegas, the roller coasters on top of the the hotels, Michael Jackson. The water show you see over by the Mirage, Michael Jackson. Bellagio. Pardon? I think it was the Bellagio. Bellagio, yes. <laughs> Michael Jackson. The, um, I think it was um, the ship scene, wherever. Oh. Treasure Island. Treasure Island. Help. Thank you for helping me. <laughs> I can't think right now. Michael Jackson. Some of the things that Michael did that uh, people never realized that he was the one that did it. Um, he was called to Vegas by uh, Steve Wynn. And, um, and so Michael called me up and he told me about uh, why he was called. But, and um, he did a lot for Vegas. He... Um, when you see the roller coasters on top of the hotels, it's Michael Jackson. Not that he owned his, his ideas, because Vegas at the time was, um, wasn't doing so well. So they wanted to know what to do to, um, to, to enhance it. And so he told him, he told him, said, one thing you need is families to come. Because cause children weren't going to Vegas at the time. It was just the parents, and sometimes they'd take the kids, but it was only, they, they had, um, I think it was Caesar's Palace where they could go. That was the only one, only hotel the kids could go and see. Sometimes they have these shows, circus shows there. But um, he, he um, told them about if it could be a family oriented, 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 show, oriented. oriented okay. Um, oriented, um, okay, he wanted, um, but he had told them that it became more family oriented, more parents, more grown-ups would come because they could bring their children because a lot of times they don't have people to keep them. And then when they vacation, they, they families vacation together. And um, so he had told them about the, um, the, what is that, the volcano and all this stuff. Treasure Island. Treasure Island. Bellagio. Mm -hmm. uh, he did a lot of things. He even went to to um, Europe. I think it was France because I had met him over there, and he was helping them out with. Um, they wanted him to come over there and help them out with uh, um, Disneyland, Euro Disney, and he was there. I don't know what become of it, and he helped them, but I don't know what happened after that. So there are so many things the world does not know about your son. Pardon? There are so many things the world does not know. That's right. About um, Do you he, think you knew Michael very well? Did who? You, as his mother. Yes, I did. I knew each one of my children. I feel that I do. Children? Sometimes I have this back. Michael was um, a loving and a kind, giving person. He, um, even from a little boy, him and Marlon are just a year apart. He's the youngest. When Marlon would get sick, um, he would stand by his bed and cry because he knew his brother didn't feel good. That's just what kind of person he was. The way the world misunderstood him. 
That's what hurt me. The way the world misunderstood Michael hurt me more than anything else because I knew what kind of person he was. His close friends knew what kind of person he was. But sometimes the world makes money off of dirtying people's name. Nobody wants to know the good things you do today. So in anything that's dirty, headlines. So um, this is why they did it, I believe, because, um, well, the Bible speaks of all this. And dirt sells. Ruining people's name, you know, um, <laughs> slandering people. They didn't care about it. So uh, this hurts me more than anything else, too, in a way, because they're, he's misunderstood. And most people believe what they see, what they read. And it was all lies. Do you think that people are going to stop spreading dirt about your son at some point? Well, I wish they would. I don't know what's going to happen, what people want to do. But as long as Satan, there's a Satan. As long as there's a Satan. And Satan works through people. I don't know what they might do. Was Michael spiritual, religious? Was he as what? You are, spiritual, religious as you are? He was spiritual, yes. Do you think that helped him through? Yes, um, I raised him. Um, I was Jehovah's Witness, and he went me, with me to the Kingdom Hall most of the time. He was baptized as a Jehovah's Witness. And... Uh, Michael was very spiritual, but um, as he continued, you know, he um, he slacked off attending. So um, he was to be a, a to be a good person and to do the things he did and to be concerned about people. I believe that he was. He was. I know he was spiritual. Spiritual. Believed in God and tried to do what was right. Do you think he ever came to forgive Joe? You mean Joseph? Joseph. His father? His father. Of course. He was just... Um, Michael talked about his father abusing him, but... The thing about that is today, people don't do the things they did back in the days. Um, everybody, when children did wrong, they all, they took the belt, the belt to them. Today you can't do that. And uh, I guess Michael's looking back, thinking about it, because all of his brothers got it when they did something wrong. And... Um, he gave, gave his father many gifts, and he helped his father when he needed. And I'm sure he gave, he wasn't asked to do that. He just did it. I know Michael forgave his father. It was just something he wanted to talk about. They were still, he still go to see him. You know, his father still went to visit him. So I'm um, he just wanted to say that. I guess I don't. Did it hurt you when Michael said that about Joseph? In public? Uh, no, it didn't hurt me. It just I just thought, uh, my goodness, people did that back in those days. Why is he saying this? <laughs> Do you think Michael was too trusting? Yes, he was. Too trusting, yeah. of course. He, he got so at, uh, before he died, and right after the um, 05 um, trial, he came to me and told me, he said, Mother, I don't trust anybody now. The only person I trust is you. Because the people that come up and lie on him, you know, and then they get on, and a lot of the people that came up um, and testified against him with people that, you know, because they got money to do this, and he just said, I can't believe the people are the way they are. The biggest mistake he made is, um, he didn't make that mistake, though. It was his lawyers. 
during the first um, accusation, uh, his lawyer was the one that did it. And he was so busy on tour until um, I don't think he really knew what was going on, as bad as it was. And I kept calling out there and telling um, his security, Bill Bray, which had been with him for a long time, he better get back here and see what's going on because these people are making this thing seem real, you know. And I think that was the biggest mistake when um, he didn't fight it and they told him he shouldn't fight it because he told me he wanted to because they, they were lying on him and he just wanted to. But um, they said, 